Howdy there folks, this is Lapidary Dave. And right now I wanted to have a quick chat about lapidary machines before I start my day. And lapidary wheels. Folks often ask me, should I buy a 6 inch or 8 inch machine? Is the 8 inch worth it? And just as often as I hear that, I also get, should I use silicon carbide or diamond? Is diamond worth it? Will silicon carbide be able to cut everything I need it to cut? To help those folks out, I have to answer that question with another question. And that question would be, do you know what you're going to carve? Do you know what you plan on cutting? Folks who know what they're going to be cutting can easily guess the hardness of the material they're going to be cutting and then they can plan for that. Personally, for materials harder than 6 on the hardness scale, I use diamond. I use diamond hard wheels and I use diamond resin wheels. For stones that are softer than 6, I personally use silicon carbide wheels. And an expandable belt, expandable drum with expandable belts. This is just my opinion. My diamond machine would make extremely short work of stone softer than 6. And I have carved stones much harder than 6 using silicon carbide belts. I choose to carve softer stones on my silicon carbide machine not only because it saves my diamond wheels and my resin pads, excuse me, my resin wheels, but also because it's a pleasure to carve using this machine. I enjoy collecting lapidary machines. The older the better. And this machine is a pleasure. Carving with silicon carbide is a pleasure, especially when it's effective. When it comes to carving harder stones than six using silicon carbide, I have done it in the past. These two stones are about a six or a seven are higher on the hardness scale, extremely hard for agates. And at one time I only had a expandable silicon carbide belt for polishing. And I felt like it was impossible. But I was that this and I felt like this was impossible to carve these stones with. I took my time I replaced the belts two times each per stone, so that's four belts that I pretty much wasted on this polish. These stones and are now pendants, and they're worth it to me. However, those belts cost me about a dollar fifty, and you know it just wasn't worth six bucks for these polish for these to be polished. So that's why I don't use silicon carbide for things harder than six. When it comes to hard wheels, the roughing, I always use diamond. But they do come in silicon carbide. Back in the day, this was the norm. This was the standard. I've used these wheels before. I've gotten them on lapidary machines, and I have a bunch of these. I collect them. But these are really awkward. The groove, like this, like you see, very easily. You have to true them up using diamond truing sticks. Nowadays, they only come in two grits, 80 and 220. If anyone sees any other grits, please let me know. But I've seen back in the day they would come in six wheel configurations so I assume they went as high as 3000 grit these are made up of silicon carbide and epoxy or some kind of resin so they probably wouldn't be too hard to make in finer grits I don't use these on any of my machines right now they're just for looks these are pretty much obsolete. The, these cost about 25 bucks 
Whereas my 6 inch diamond wheels, my 80 grits, cost me about $40. They last way longer. They. Yeah, they just. They're more. It's a, it's a more pleasurable carve to use that thing. This is just no, no good. These are obsolete. If money is no issue, I would totally suggest Diamond all day, all the time. Folks are getting really good at resurfacing Diamond resin wheels, and these Diamond hard wheels are getting cheaper all the time. I have seen Diamond expandable belts. I have never owned a machine that I use them on. I've used them at gem shows. They seem to be nice, but they seem about as expensive as these resin wheels, so I've never really went for it. It's no fun not being able to carve a stone that you really want to carve. I think silicon carbide can carve most things. But things about a six or harder just take way too long for me. Literally an hour or more to take out those hard wheel scratches. To figure out stones that are about six are harder or softer, I personally use a piece of obsidian to try to score the stone that I plan on carving. I usually make a needle out of obsidian, keep it rough, and if it scratches my stone, I know it's softer than six. There's a bunch of other ways to go about this, but the best means of knowing which machine to buy or which machine to use is to know what you're carving. Anyway, folks, this is Lapidary Dave. I hope this was helpful. Um, if anyone ever has any questions, feel free to ask. I only scratched the surface. Um, comparing the two. But yes, the easy answer is diamond. Especially if the stones are harder than six. See you later, folks.